All right, so we're gonna change the oil on my Mazda 3. I've got a 2018 with the two liter four cylinder direct injection. Um, uses zero W20 oil. I'm gonna use full synthetic in this case, some Castrol. Um, I went with a Wix filter, even though it's not my favorite brand, but that's what O'Reilly's had today. This one's a 57002. It's good for 10,000 miles or one year. Uh, tools you're gonna need. Um, you really, I really just need the Phillips, but I grabbed the Phillips plus a straight slot. Um, you'll need that to take off the uh, underbody paneling, uh, which blocks the oil filter and the drain plug. Um, you'll need a ratchet um, filter wrench, two chocks for the back tires just to be safe, and some ramps just to get the car up in the air. And then, of course, a drain pan for the used oil. Um, I guess I'll also go grab a, a rag to wipe my hands on. All right, so first step is to get the car up in the air. We're going to take these ramps, get them under the front tire. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to be straight. So I kind of can't see it perfectly well, but... And anyway, it is to make sure the car ends up on the ramp, centered. Second one here. Do it a few times and then you kind of figure out what's right and what's comfortable. Anyway, so that's that. Okay, see, that wasn't perfect, but uh, it's where it needs to be. Check the other side. Okay, yeah, we're where we need to be. Okay. You can use anything, really, bricks or something that's not going to easily allow the car to roll backwards because you don't want to be crushed underneath. Yeah. Good. Pop the hood on the car. So you're just gonna find that the lever there. So it's this this guy here. Then you're gonna hold the hood up with your one hand. It's not as easy when you're filming, but anyway, you're gonna take this guy here, and he goes into this hole right there. Okay, so you can see zero W twenty, perfect. So I'm gonna set some cardboard underneath the car. That's to prevent any oil splash from staining the driveway. Any old cardboard will do. So that's that. Got the oil. Pan. Safety glasses are a good idea too. Under a car, looking face up, any kind of gravel or debris can get in your eyes. So it's a good idea. Let's take this guy out of here. Okay. Okay, we'll set this little guy over here. Okay. 
Next up, this guy. Yeah, that's a better angle. Yeah, no cars are ever built to survive a Michigan winter because we use salt on all our roads. So, not a good place to buy a car if you're going to keep it. All right, so we should be done with our screwdriver. Oh, so that's why I brought my straight head. Forgot about these little clips. So this guy and this guy. Gonna get our straight slot screwdriver in there and pry those up. Anyway. Okay. That's good. Next one. And there's a groove to get the screwdriver in. Okay, there you go. These are actually a pretty clever design, I will admit. And then they pop right out. Set those aside. Just slides out real easy. And there's your old Mobile One synthetic filter m1-108a and there's your drain plug so this mazda 3 this 2018 did go back to a socket so anyway cool I'll go get that it's probably like a half inch but it's metric probably this is a 17 millimeter socket so I'm going to use my extender. Just because I want to make sure the camera can see it a little bit. All right, so we're going to start loosening the drain plug with our 17 millimeter socket. They're lefty loosey here. Okay, broke the tension. I gotta get the oil pan. So, definitely don't want to get oil on the camera or my light. So, but you can see, really just something you can undo with your hand. But. Once you get pretty well in there, oil's going to start dripping. So let's get ready for that. So that's why you wear shitty clothes when you're changing oil. Oil pan's now positioned underneath the car. This oil's hot, you can already tell. So I'm just going to take some tissue paper to help with the heat. There you go. So now we have our stream of oil coming down. So keep the drain plug somewhere where you can get to it. And don't let it get dirty. You don't want any dirt or debris in the threads. That would be bad. Okay, so you can see we're just about done with our oil drain. Uh, just. The last few drops are dripping, so we're going to put our oil plug back in there now. So I'm going to hand tighten it, and then I will use the socket to fully tighten. Okay, and make sure you kept the washer on there. So I'm going to spread some of the used oil around the oil pan. I like to believe it helps keep it clean. And who knows, maybe it helps prevent rust. I don't have any data on that. 
but been doing it for years and anyway it helps keep things looking clean anyway the oil filter I'm gonna wipe off some of the dust before we start trying to work on taking that off need all the friction we can get okay so change your ratchet to tighten righty tighty on our drain plug See, it's already pretty tight. All right, that's good. I inserted a piece of uh, rubber, if you will, TPR, or TPE, really, but um, inside this oil wrench to thicken up and tighten the ID so it might fit on this filter. That way. That's all you need, little by little, until you get past the point where it's easy to get with your hand. There we go. Okay. Now, you're going to be careful because it's going to start dripping oil in a minute. So. There we go. Not a lot, but just enough to make a mess. Shit, I think it started raining. So you can see now, so this is where the oil filter goes. It screws on to the center thread there. And before you put the new one on, you just want to make sure you coat the new gasket in a little bit of oil. Just to make sure it's got a good, clean suction. So, here's our new Wix filter, 57002, 57002. Not the most complicated thing. Basically just helps keep debris out of your engine oil. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just get some of that residual oil off here. Be careful, some of this machine surface can be sharp. And I'm just gonna coat the gasket. It'll probably do that on its own anyway, but you just wanna be sure. Okay, so there we go, got some oil on there. Try to be careful, you don't want to cross thread anything. Okay, a few more turns, and then at the end of the day, you just really want to make sure it's only hand tight. So. Okay, that should be plenty. It's not gonna go anywhere. 
All right, so we got our filter on. We got our filter on. We got our oil plug back in nice and tight. Let's put this cover back on. Okay, so we're going to put the cover back on here. Just slides in. There we go. It's going to take the plastic fasteners here. Be careful, you don't want to, basically you don't want to close it until it's in. So kind of just wiggle it a little. Okay. And the second one. Okay, now you can close it. Cool. And last, the screws that are called Phillips. Okay, so let's get our oil in here. So let's take off our oil cap. I forgot to mention, it's really a good idea. Use a funnel. You don't want oil going all over your car. All right, so this is a five quart jug. So I need four and a half quarts. So this one here, that's where I gotta get the oil down to. So let's start pouring. Now we're real close. A little bit more. That should do her. And we'll put our cap back in. There's no wrong way to put the cap in, so. We're gonna get in the car. And I'm going to back off the ramps first so that the car is level. And then we're going to check the level of fullness for the oil. Okay, we pulled out the wheel blocks. Take off our parking brake. And hopefully we can gently back down off the ramps. So for this, you need a rag. The first time, you're just going to pull it out, wipe it off. Okay. And the whole point is just to get the oil off so that you can see it when you, you want to be able to see it when you dip it in next time. So here we go. Perfect. It's right in between the two dots, or the two holes in this case. Okay, so that's what we wanted, that's what we got, perfect. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take her for a quick test drive just to make sure she feels good. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. Engines are feeling a little bit smoother. You don't notice it when it's starting to run a little rough, but you notice it when it starts running smoother, that's for sure. Anyway, that was it. So I just recorded the mileage, the date, the brand and type of oil, the brand and type of oil filter, and, uh, and that's it. That's what I do for my oil changes. 
So I hope that was helpful. This has been a fun little video from uh, Dwight's Dojo. And uh, look forward to making another video. Something else. So. Anyway, have a good day and see you later. Ha, 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 ha.